Good morning, and uh, well, I don't feel as rough today as I did on Saturday morning. No, Friday morning, sorry. Uh, met HJ last night. HJ is the guy I've been communicating with mainly um, throughout this championship and who has been sorting me out with all of my needs and all sorts when it comes to commentating and giving me all the information. And we had a right laugh. I went out for a pizza with him and his colleague. We didn't go out for dinner until like 10 o'clock though, so we got back about midnight. I had a few drinks downstairs with uh, some of the other people here as well. And I think I came to bed about quarter past one. Um, it's now, I don't know because I've not got my watch on. Um, I think it is about, I'll check my phone. It's 20 to 9, so we're meeting downstairs at 9 o'clock and then we're going to go to the circuit. Obviously, today's the first day of actual racing for us. Um, it's going to be qualifying and Super Bowl and two races today. Norbert could wrap up the championship today, so it's a very important day. Um, not a lot more to it, really. I did some interviews with Norbert and uh, Antonio yesterday, which you'll have seen on the highlights. That was really cool to do. But Christina is there today. She wasn't very well yesterday. She's here today and I finally get to meet her and she's the main person I've been working with really because uh, we, we often do what we call ping pong where we hand to one another so I'll be commentating and then she'll have an interview with a driver and then hand back to me so it's going to be really cool to meet Christina and finally work together in person so let's get on with it. So we're here at the circuit then all getting things sorted, drinks and all sorts. We're going to go over to the commentary booth now and we're going to set Pitt's laptop up and then get all the audio checked out and prepare for the day. HJ tried to get me leathered last night. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> That's mainly because I didn't drink enough. But either way, we're going to get things set up now and off we go. I love these lot. <laughs> So we're all set up and ready to go. Um, now we're gonna go and wander the circuit for a bit. I've got about an hour and 45 minutes until I need to actually come back and commentate for the qualifying and Super Bowl. So now it's just time to enjoy myself. Um, I realized as well, I've not used my lapel mic for any of this this weekend, but it's, it's been a lot busier than my uh, usual weekends with Renault. So apologies for any audio differences or audio issues, but yeah, I might try and start getting into the habit of using that again tomorrow. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna go and enjoy myself. Hopefully meet Christina and she, see that uh, she's all right and then it's time to get working. Now, I thought it was cool watching Clio's and Formula cars and all sorts go past on a pit wall, but it has absolutely nothing on this. This is unbelievable. Honestly, like, unbelievable. Just you see in a minute, I will show you exactly what I mean. I've, I've done this at the perfect time because nobody's coming around the final corner yet, but I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so it's go time right now for qualifying and Super Bowl. Um, however, I'm going to be going out onto the grid. I'm going to be presenting with Christina, which is awesome. Um, however, it means that I cannot take you with me, I'm afraid. So you're going to go into the bag and I will catch up with you a little bit later. But I'll try and put in a snippet right now of the broadcast of when me and Christina are on the grid. So hopefully I can manage to do that now. If not, here's a big no. But I'm very glad to welcome Charles Draycott here. He's been our commentator during this season. 
uh, alongside, of course, with Jack Werrell, Joachim uh, Eberts also. So we're finally here at the track. How excited are you? Oh, very excited. I've been absolutely loving it this weekend. It's great to finally be at one of these events in person and what a fantastic circuit to do it at as well. Mizano is such a difficult circuit for these guys to get right. There's a lot of start-stop sections around the back. There's a very, very quick section as well. Norbert Kish doesn't need to do a lot this weekend to clinch the championship, but still everybody is going to be working hard to make sure they can fight with him. So we just finished with qualifying. That was a lot of fun. Really good to be on the uh, pit wall with Christina and on TV to begin with. And then, of course, I ran down to the commentary box. We had a inter really interesting session, actually. Norbert Kish wasn't fastest in the original qualifying, but then went fastest in Super Bowl. I just saw Jochen Hahn there. He's really proud of Lucas for being fourth in the original qualifying session, but unfortunately couldn't convert it in the end. Anyway, now, between qualifying and race, it's time for lunch. Right then, nice lunch devoured. Now uh, it's time to go and drop off my stuff at the commentary box because last time, as I ran back across, I realised that I didn't have my folder with me, I didn't have any of our previous results, championship standings, any of it, so I had to do that one blind. Um, but still, it was very, very enjoyable and lunch was great. I feel really fat now though. So it's time to just drop all my stuff off, make sure that's there. And then I'm gonna try and track down some drivers and I'll try and take you with me for that so at least we can get some nice shots in the beautiful sunshine here in Italy. Also, while I'm here, I want to show you this really cool little model that Shane Brayton and his team gave me yesterday. It's this tiny little thing, but it's such an accurate excuse me, representation of his truck. Look at this little thing. It's so cool. I don't know if it'll focus properly, but honestly, this thing is really cool. Lucas Hahn will be starting eighth on the grid for the first race of the weekend and it's his first time here as well so he's done a mega job. It's all good, yeah. isn't it? Thank you, yeah, yeah, yeah it was very good. <laughs> it's my first race weekend here in Misano. I never drive here in Italy. It was really amazing to be in the Super Bowl and, and to be here with the big drivers and, and be in this field, yeah. Fighting with the big boys. Yeah, that's <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not on the grid for this one. Um, it's probably less complicated that way because I don't have an earpiece or anything to hear the director in. So I'm going to sit over in my commentary box, which I'm heading over to now. The trucks are making their way out onto the circuit, just through here. And it's time for race one of the weekend. Let's roll. the man that could make it all happen now. Norbert Kish could win the championship in this race, so he's the man to keep an eye on. Let's see if he does it, shall we? Onto the brakes, chucks it in, uses all of the road, and even with a five second penalty, Kish will be classified second. He wins on the road, but he is the 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Champion. So we just finished the broadcast for the first race. Um, I've got a fantastic view from here in the commentary box. I must say it's really, really cool. Um, not too impressed with myself though. I really fluffed up the ending of that because I forgot they were even doing a podium because Norbert Kish is champion. He did enough to take the championship by finishing second after he got a five second penalty. So he won on the road, got five second penalty, finished second, but that's enough to give him the championship. I forgot there was a podium. Um, I didn't realize that Christina was gonna have an interview with Sasha Lenz at the end. So I just said that we were gonna say bye and then suddenly it was an interview. I wasn't too pleased with myself on that one, but it happens sometimes. It's just part of uh, part of the action. Now I've got to find the key so I can get out of here. But now we've only got 40 minutes until the next broadcast goes live. So I'm going to quickly go and uh, nip to the loo, get a drink, maybe say hello to a few people. And looks like I've been locked in. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so I did make it out alive. It just seems like it was locked from the outside for some reason. Not clear why, but either way, man's got the key in it. Right. 
let's go uh, see who we can find and maybe have a chat with but to be honest we've not got long so expect me to be doing the uh, next race in just a sec so here is Norby just won the championship very uh, emotional obviously at the end but it was a tough show wasn't it yeah it's a bit hard to it was a very difficult two years, you know, with the, with the coronavirus and everything. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy for the team that, you know, yeah. stuck together and, uh, and they could do it. So, yeah, I'm really proud. Fantastic team effort. Well, very well done, mate. Very well done. Awesome stuff. Now, I've just found my cup of tea. Look at this. So we're done now for race two of the day and we're done for today pretty much. Uh, I've got to come back in here in a moment and record some highlights with the guys. But yeah, really good day today. Really enjoyed it. Uh, fantastic second race there. Jochen Hahn getting his third win of the year. Theo Calvey having to do a hell of a lot of defending from everybody. And yeah, just amazing racing all around. It's really nice sunset now as well. The sun is properly going down. But um, everyone else is rounding up their day. I've got to come back in a bit and do highlights and then yeah, we can go and enjoy ourselves, obviously travel-wise, passenger locator form and check-in and all that will be handled tonight. I don't have to do a test before I go back, which is really good news. Just got to book a day two test, so I'm going to do that tonight at the hotel. But for now, I will see you in a bit. So we just had the entertaining moment of uh, this, this whole compound here is where they keep a lot of the circuit vehicles. And then obviously all these commentary boxes. And uh, they were going to lock the gate, basically, so I wasn't going to be able to come back in and record the highlights. So we've just had to get a load of people down to just tell them don't lock it, um, including one of the circuit managers who had to come down and basically tell them, no, you need to listen to these people and not lock the gate. So I'm back in now until I've done the highlights. So I'm going to sit here for a bit, prepare for that with uh, Aaron and Martin, and then get that done and then go back to the hotel. After a very entertaining first race where we saw our overall champion crowned, it was time for the reverse grid and it was Theo Calvé and René Reiner on the front row to really show us the fireworks. In the middle of the field, Adam Lachko made his way past Anthony Janiek and Norbert Kish was picking them off one by one, taking advantage of all the moves happening in front of him. Okay, that's me done for the day. Desk is cleared, I've got Pitt's laptop, we're all sorted. Uh, we're just trying to figure out a plan for the highlights tomorrow, but in the meantime, there's this big car and bike event going on outside, so there's loads of random on track there. But anyway, I am done. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna finally chill out because it's been a long, long day. Look at it, it's, it's just dark out here. I don't think I've ever been at a circuit this late, really, other than the Nürburgring. Anyway, time to get back to the hotel, try and find a plan for, two, for tomorrow. Get it out, Chaz. And I will see you all in a bit. Love you. After all of that, I stumbled upon six-time champion Jochen Hahn. And then I stumbled upon the phenomenal show trucks, one of the real highlights of my weekend, and I got slightly carried away within the nightlife. Unbelievable, but this is just 